Hi, I'm Kirsten Lock, the Fashion Director of Ord, and I'm here with Daniel Fletcher at the Walmart Prize in London. I know you often take your cues from political inspirations and you've been quite active on the social front. How did, what was your starting point for this collection? I think this idea of like coming at things from a social perspective and uh, politically, it's because I'm always reacting to things that are going on around me. And when I started designing this collection, I was thinking a lot about education, actually. I have this thing in the UK at the moment where the governments and schools are putting more emphasis on academic subjects and creative subjects and arts education are being left behind. And what it means is that people aren't taking those subjects anymore, which feels crazy when you consider the impact of the creative industries on our economy. So when I was thinking about education, I then started looking looking at like, school uniforms and like old pictures of my school uniforms and thinking about my heritage from the north of England. And that was kind of, that became the starting point. So you'll see there's like these, these shorts that look almost like PE shorts and you've got um, the, the striped wool, which I, I wove in the UK, which is reminiscent of like a boarding school striped blazers. I took this idea of something that was important to me and I wanted to talk about and turned it into something visual, which was this kind of uniform for the youth of today. And tell me, what sort of wool innovations um, did you discover when you were producing this collection? Well, one of the things that I wanted to do was use as many British mills as possible. When I first met Walmart and they showed me all these mills, I was like, I was astounded at how amazing they were and like the the craftsmanship that we still have in the UK and I wanted to use this collection as a way to support that so I've worked with Mills to create this um, merino wool denim so it, it looks like denim but it feels super soft and super luxurious and it is 100% merino wool so I took this idea of like a, a jeans jacket which is something that's very familiar and we all know and kind of turned it on its head a little bit so I made it in this merino wool did the contrast stitch and it almost looks like it's being turned inside out and that idea runs through the collection of like taking something familiar and turning it on its head a little bit. Do you have any favourites? I would say I mean I love these trousers the the split hem trousers it's one of our key styles that we kind of repeat in a lot of our collections and in a slightly different way each season. And I like the idea that it's like a classic pair of trousers but then they've been split up the sides, like there's a slightly rebellious feel to it. Yeah. And it gives them this, this flared look. And then I really love this um, jumper as well, which again was knitted here in London with extra fine merino wool yarn. With this collection, I was really able to develop a lot of different aspects of my brand that I've not had a chance to focus on before, but through the support of Walmart, I've been able to do that. And you made some very special pieces for the collection. Oh. Tell us about the scarves. Like I said, when I met Walmart and I, they were introducing me to all these mills in the UK, I was blown away by the craftsmanship that we have here and what these mills are doing. And um, I worked with Abraham Moon and Sons, one of the oldest mills in the UK, which is based up in Yorkshire, to create these scarves. So we've got them here with these classic Daniel Fletcher details, but I just wanted to take it another level. I, was, I wanted to people not just to look at them as something that you would wear and it just gets hung in your wardrobe. I, I almost feel like these cloths are works of art, like the work that goes into producing them and that in order to make other people have that perception we've, we've cast them so it's almost like they're frozen in time and they could belong in a museum or a, an art gallery rather than just being a scarf. And beautiful. Thank you. Um, so tell us, you work with uh, quite a few retailers. I do, yeah. About which ones? Um, so m I first started because my graduate collection was bought by opening ceremony and that was really what got my brand going and then since then we've opened a number of doors. Liberty in London is one of our key stockists, Essence online, um, Boone the Shop in Korea, uh, Tom Greyhound in Paris. Uh, Japan is a big market for us, we're working with Beans International Gallery, uh, Harvey Nichols Hong Kong, Shine Hong Kong. Um, we really tried to make sure that we had like one amazing store in each of the big cities and I feel like we've accomplished that now and we're ready to kind of push it even further and I think, I hope that this collection will help us to do that. Well I wish you all the best Thank for the Walmart you. Prize. Thank you Thank so you much. much. <laughs>